Hey guys, welcome to this next video um, over at Data with Dominic in our Power Query Editor series. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to uh, use the modulo transformation in the Power Query Editor. The modulo transformation allows us to basically calculate the remainder of dividing each number in the selected column by a specified value. And uh, yeah, that, death, that explanation is pretty straightforward. It basically shows us the remainder when we divide every value in a column by a specific number. So how we uh, come to this uh, transformation is we choose the specific column on which we want to perform the modulo transformation. We come over to the transform tab. In the transform tab we come to this standard uh, button which is in the number column section of the transform tab. We hit standard and then you see modulo. Once you see modulo you can enter whatever value you want to divide all of them by and get the remainder. So I'm going to enter 5 in this situation and pay attention to the first number which is 20, second number 6, third number 15. So 20 and 15 should give us 0 and 6 should give us 1 because that's the remainder. So let's hit this and as you can see we've got the results as expected. It's showing us the remainder when all these numbers are divided by 5. When this might become useful for you is in a situation like this where we're looking at the quantities and say, let me just cancel this step and say that this is, these are the original quantities and say that we had to ship them out in boxes of five uh, in all cases, right? Every product had to go out in a box of five. So if you want to know how much leftover there will be that cannot fill its own box, we could just use the modulo transformation hit 5 and then we know what our leftovers like and then we can maybe accumulate some of these together as is required so that's how we use the modulo transformation in the power query editor thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and i'll see you in the next one